Alrighty, hey guys, so I am finally back. Now, today we are actually going to be looking at an operating system called React OS. React OS is basically an operating system that looks similar to Windows 2000. Like, you could tell they were trying to make it look like Windows 2000 because I guess what they were going for is, you know, they wanted to make an operating system that looks like Windows, that feels like Windows, but without any of the appearance, you know, like the themes, the programs, all of that. Let's get started. All right, so we're just gonna call it React, I guess. Why not? Because that's what it's called, React OS. So we're gonna select our ISO image, which I, funnily enough, have right here. And yes, you can read it on screen. This is the version. This is apparently the latest, like, stable release. I'm not gonna read all of this on screen. I'm a lazy fuck. Oh, that's interesting. I just noticed that. So I guess they updated VirtualBox. Now, if you want to like install, like you select your hardware, they're in like these tabs. Oh, that's interesting. We're going to select for the base memory. We're going to select four gigs. We're going to do two cores because again, why not? And we're going to set our max hard disk space. I guess we'll set it to... Um, Oh, I don't know, like 45 gigs. That should be more than enough. And actually, before we start, I'm going to set this to solid state so it'll run slightly faster. And then when we go into display, I'm go actually going to enable the 3D acceleration. And why didn't you save the settings? Okay, really? Okay, I guess it just doesn't like me enabling 3D acceleration. Well, that's unfortunate. Alrighty, so we are in. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, right off the bat, this is the blue screen that's basically used in Windows 2000. So, so we're just going to select English United States because that's where I am and accept these device settings. See, look, this is literally Windows 2000 down to a T. So we're just going to select that. We're not doing the FAT file system. No, 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 no. We're going to choose BetterFS, which is probably one of the better filing systems you could have. So I guess this is based on a version of Linux? Is this, is that what I'm seeing here? Cause it says like for me to install a bootloader and it, and it allows me to select better FS. Alrighty, so we're in React OS setup. And it is based off of Linux, look at that. Cause it's using like all these Linux, like open source projects. Or er, we're gonna set the name to farts password. Hmm, what should I do as a password? Oh, I know. Anywho, and ooh, so you can select your theme. Oh, that's interesting. I actually really like the lunar theme. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna select classic. So I guess in a sense, this almost looks like XP, but at the same time, it just feels more like Windows 2000. I don't know why, it just does. All right, so we've completed the React OS setup. So we're just gonna click finish. And yeah, that booted up pretty quick. All right, so right off the bat, we're gonna have to install our drivers and of course that failed wow this is not looking promising why are these all failing so yeah let's go to the start menu or sorry the start menu all the programs are actually linux based so if we go to calculator Actually, no, wait. Oh, that's interesting. Is this literally like the classic Windows calculator? We got paint. Of course, you got to have paint. I guess these these are like the Windows apps. You got notepad. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Ooh, entertainment. We got multimedia player. Is this... Oh, what is this? React OS multimedia player. I guess this is like an alternative to the classic media player. Oh my God, the sound recorder. Dude, I remember the sound recorder. Like I remember when I had my old Dell laptop with Windows XP on it and we'd, I'd always like to record like just me just saying random sh I don't know why I found that just so fascinating when I was a kid, but oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. It's literally Windows 2000 or XP or whichever this is at this point. Oh my god, I want to see what the task manager looks like. Let's see. Oh my god, this is literally Windows 2000. <laughs> wow. Why is it this of all things that just gets me the most? They literally, this is literally the Windows 2000 task manager 
down to the bone. Like, holy crap. But yeah, no, as you can see, we're using only 77 megabytes of RAM. I literally have no words to describe this. This is like, because look, you even get... You, there's even a Microsoft folder here. Is that even legal? My Ryzen 5 7600X 6 core. Oh, we got Solitaire. Again, I absolutely suck at Solitaire, so. All right, how do you Spider Solitaire? But hey, you know what? If you, again, if you like this kind of stuff, well, here you go. And of course, we have to try out Minesweeper. Oh boy, here we go again. Uh, let's see, uh, do I want, okay, alrighty, fine, fine. Uh, yeah, I, again, I suck at Minesweeper. Oh, I'm actually not doing half bad. Uh, oh, man. Oh my god. No! <laughs> yeah, that is one thing I like about this game, though. It's just so addicting. Like, it makes you, ah, dang it. It just makes you want to keep playing over and over and over again. But yeah, no, that's all the games, really. There isn't really much game-wise. Oh, you even got your service manager. See, again, like, they really went all out with React OS. You can turn on and off services in this menu here, your service manager, of course. Yeah, I mean, this, again, is so looks so much like Windows 2000. What well, this did start development in 96, so kind of does make sense that all of this looks all classic and retro. They wanted to make something that looked like Windows that had the classic feel, but it ran on Linux instead of the Windows kernel. Yeah, I mean, look at this. You even have .exe files in here. Yeah, it's wine. Yeah, it's Wine WordPad, yeah. Ooh, Internet Explorer. Let's see. Wait, does this actually work? Oh my god, that, this... <laughs> Let's see if we can install Firefox onto here. Oh, I guess Firefox doesn't work on here. Oh, I mean, I guess, or maybe it does? You just have to use ESR. Download MyPal. Yeah, MyPal is basically, it's supposed to be a browser for Windows XP that allows you to use the modern internet, even though I would highly recommend not doing so. I don't know why this isn't downloading. Or maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know. Let's see. React OS Applications Manager, let's see this. Okay, so it downloaded something. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, so this is literally, it's just Linux. Because as you can see here, we have our, our software repository. So we're going to go to Internet and we are going to select, we're going to do Firefox. Fox, or actually no, my pal. Here we go. I like how the the font glows up here in the loading bar. That's actually kind of cool. Maybe it's just the virtual machine, but the font actually glows up there. It's so stylish. We're gonna launch it. Let's see what we get. Can we connect to Google? Yes, we can. All right. So at least the internet works with this. So. Let's try YouTube. Now, of course the audio isn't gonna work, but can we at least watch a video? God, this is taking forever to load though. What if I refresh the page? Again, this could also be because, well, they're really, or at the very least, the drivers just don't work well with my configuration. So yeah, I guess YouTube doesn't work, unfortunately. I mean, I guess technically it does, but whenever I do go to YouTube, it always, takes me just here and it just stops. Kind of annoying, but eh, what, you, what can you do about it? Search this, actually. Nathan's Toasty Tech. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Internet Explorer is evil. Agreed. Yeah, even control panel looks the same. Let's see what we got for display. Ooh, I like some of these pictures. I like this one, actually, quite a bit. There we go. Yeah, there, there. That's actually a pretty cool picture. We also got clouds. We got grass. I mean, I guess grass is pretty, but I don't know why I would have that as my desktop. Now this I could have as my desktop. That's actually kind of pretty. Oh my God, they even copied Bliss. <laughs> they even copied Bliss. I mean, it's not 100%. It's like their own take on it if that makes sense. Ooh, I like this picture though, the sunset. That's actually very pretty. They even did Windows Vista. 
Oh my god. Despite me saying, oh, they copied this, they copied that, I actually really don't don't mind it one bit. It's just kind of surprising to me. I don't know why. Of course, I mean, obviously, you're not going to see the 3D because, well, we don't have the driver. Ooh, this one's cool. Wow, this one's actually kind of cool. I like, I like this. Original Starfield is better. There we go, now we're talking. Alrighty, so what are my thoughts on React OS? Well, honestly, if, again, you were to install this on an actual computer, or if I were to do that, I would actually really like this a lot. Like, it would work a lot better than running it on a virtual machine. React OS, I think, is really cool for the fact that, you know, it looks just like Windows 2000. Somewhat XP, there's some XP in there, but I see more Windows 2000. But it looks like the older Windows versions. Yeah, it looks like a classic version of Windows, but now you can run it on modern hardware, which really helps if you want that classic feeling. Now, of course, it's not gonna look 100%. I mean, of course, you don't have the programs running completely identical. You know, you don't have icons that look the exact same, but hey, they're there. They run mostly the exact same. Now, before we end the video, I do have to make a huge shout out to every single one of you watching my videos. The last video, I got a whopping 25 subscribers from that video alone, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, that's a lot. And, and I also got 2,700 views on that video as of the making of this video. So I really do appreciate the support. You know, it just, it just makes me a happy camper. So I'm just gonna say it again. If you guys really like the content, you know, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with all your friends. And yeah, that's about it guys. So until next time, peace.